All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, it looks like the entrance or the uh, first floor is over on the side there. Where do I think the next floor is going to be? Ooh, do I have enough potions? That'll work. <clears throat> I should probably go all the way up first just to check. One strategy you can use, guys, depending on what your build is and what level you've gotten up to. A lot of people in the beta are still pretty low level. Um, but if you have enough ranks and teleport, the mana cost goes down each level. So what you can do is just start teleporting through the dungeon and hopefully finding the floor. Much faster than walking, but as you can see, we found the floor by going all the way up. Now we have to choose left or right. Um, we'll take side. Let's see. I always try and go down the furthest amount before I start taking any directionals. Because then it's kind of like grabbing a layout and then you can notice any patterns and stuff like that. So it's walled with an insider out. That's straight. And this is going to be dead end. Number one. Oh, no. We got, we got lucky. Very end of it. Some stairs. Alright, so fourth floor is where Andario lives. This is where we have to be a little bit more careful. Um, this is going to be the safe method that you can totally bum rush this boss and stomp him depending on... Stomp her depending on what stats you have. Um, <clears throat> it's really not that tough of a fight, but when you're first fighting it, it feels tough because you don't have gear yet, you don't have stats, like it, it's a bit tougher just because a couple basic reasons. Okay. And you can now play this on controller. I tried it for like a minute or two and I wasn't the biggest fan. Like, it was cool. Uh, I thought the combat was well done. It's just certain menu things that I wasn't a big fan of. Once again, still beta, so they have plenty of time to make changes. Um... But, my buddy plays on controller and loves it, so, it does feel a lot more comfortable if you're just trying to, like, sit back and, like, be a bit lazier, but this is the much more, like, focused way. Alright, so what we do is we clear the room first. Notice how I didn't want to walk up too far into the room here, because, once you do, Andario spawns. Well, not spawns, starts walking down. Um, instead of these weak potions, we're going to go ahead and swap in these just to be as safe as possible and draw her down. She does spit out a poison wave. It looks like she didn't get it off this time. Yeah, she just shot off a base poison. Um, and then you can see the drops here. Now, I have, uh, this, uh, Nagel ring, which gives 28% of better magic items and then this one for seven so 35 percent total nothing crazy uh definitely a start uh, looks like she died from fire unlucky but you can always revive them in town not a big deal uh, large axe six slots uh can i free up six it's possible hey we got the puzzle <laughs> <laughs> I knew I had six slots, it's just whether I could pattern it. Um, cool, so once you beat that boss for the first time, you can talk to Warv and then go east and start Act 2. But uh, that first time you fight it, it's Loot City. Uh, you can get extra runes from it and all that when you're on the quest for it. If you're not on a quest for it, then yes, you still get drops like this. And I actually got this Death Guard Sash from it uh, on like my fourth run. Pretty easy to run, as you guys saw. Not bad at all. You normally earn a fair amount of gold um, from selling all the loot. But I hope this has been helpful. See y'all in the next video.